If you want to make a shader that allows you to turn a colored sprite into a grayscale version by just swapping the material, you should continue watching this tutorial. Greetings! Let's get right into how we can do a grayscale shader in Unity. So firstly, you want to right click in your assets folder, go to create, then go to shader, then go to unlit shader and call it whatever you like. I'll call it gray scale shader. Once you've made the shader, open it up. When you open up your shader, you may see some code. To make this tutorial easier to follow along, if you see any code here, hit control A, then the delete key, or just drag and select and delete it all. Now, the shader code is going to be in the description below, so you can copy and paste it if you want to. I also just want to say this. This tutorial is not going to explain how shaders work, it's going to explain how this particular shader works in applying a grayscale. So firstly, you need to do shader custom slash grayscale shader in between two speech marks and have some curly brackets. After that, you're then going to want to do properties with some curly brackets and then have main text texture 2D equals white. After that, you then want to type subshader and also do some more curly brackets and underneath it, do fallback diffuse. So the subshader block contains the actual rendering instructions for the shader and fallback diffuse specifies a fallback shader to use if the shader is not supported by the hardware we're running the program on. Next, we're going to do these four lines of code. So the tags line gives Unity additional information about the shader. Here it specifies that the shader is for transparent objects and should be rendered in the transparent queue. Basically, this will allow us to have transparency on the sprite or the texture that this shader is applied to. We're also going to have a few state settings like blend SCR alpha, one minus SCR alpha, ZW write off and call off. So the first one enables alpha blending, making the shader su support transparency. Z write off disables right into the Z buffer, useful for transparent objects to avoid depth sorting issues and culling off disables backface culling. So both sides of the sprite or polygons are rendered. Let's die up in the corner for a tutorial on that if you want to know more. Then we're going to do pass with some curly brackets and end CG. So this just defines a single pass of the shader and we're going to inside contain instructions for what the graphics card needs to do to each pixel. And to keep it really simple, this code just defines how to process the 3D shape and texture of objects, including the position and texture coordinates for each vertex and prepares to use a 2D texture. This also works for sprites. After that, we're then going to do v2f vert app data v and then a little bit of code inside and then the return o. And this defines a vertex shader which processes each vertex of a mesh. It takes app data as an input and outputs a v2f. It transforms vertex positions and texture coordinates. Next, I want you to do fixed for frag v2f i colon sv target. So this defines the fragment shader, which calculates the color of each pixel. And we're going to be using this to turn the texture color into grayscale based on the luminosity method, keeping the alpha value unchanged. So this bit of code right here is going to loop through every pixel on our sprites or our texture and then apply some logic to it. So let's put in the logic. Quickly before you do that, move your end CG to underneath your fixed for frag function as opposed to underneath the pass. A little mistake on my part, sorry about that. Now let's look at the logic inside the fixed for frag function. So we do fixed for col equals text 2D main text i dot uv. Then we can do float gray equals dot col dot rbg and then float three and then three decimal values. Again, this is all in the description below. And then we can do return fixed for gray, 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 col a. What does each line do? So the first line here, here the shader looks up the color of the current pixel in the image texture, which is called main text, using its position i dot uv, which means where it is on the image. The color it finds is saved in a col variable, which has four parts, red, green, blue, and alpha. Alpha is for transparency. Then on the next line, we're going to calculate a single gray value from the color col, and we're going to use the dot function to combine the red, green, and blue parts of col with special numbers, 0.299 for red, 0.587 for green, and 0.114 for blue. 
that reflect how bright each colour looks to our eyes. The result grey is the brightness of the colour as if it were in black and white. And on the last line, we're going to use the grey value to make a new colour where the red, green and blue parts are all the same. The grey value, turning the original colour into a shade of grey. The alpha, or the transparency part, is kept the same. So if the original pixel was partly see-through, it stays that way. And that's all we actually do for the shader. So this is basically where all of the logic is for this particular shader, and the rest is kind of shader boilerplate. But with that, save your work. And to actually use this shader, we need to make a material. So in your assets folder, I want you to right click, go to create, then go to material, and call it gray scale matte. And once you've made your material, click on it, go up to where it says shader, and click on the standard, and then click on custom, and then you will see your custom shaders and click on the one which is grayscale shader or whatever you called it before. Since we don't need to pass in any parameters, we can save our work and then go to a sprite that you want to apply the grayscale to. So I've clicked on the Mario. I'm going to drag and drop the material I just made into the material property of the sprite renderer. And look, Mario's gone gray. Now let's click on PewDiePie and do the same thing again. Oh my God, he's gone gray. Now let's go to Pikachu fat, drag and drop it on, Oh my god, Pikachu's gone grey. And that's it for this tutorial, so be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.